Home use aesthetic devices are a rapidly growing sector of the aesthetic medicine industry. And there are so many new products appearing every day on the market. Well, it can be hard to decide which one is right for you. So today we've invited three leading experts in the field to be a part of our panel on home use devices to share their extensive knowledge of these products with you. Please welcome internationally renowned dermatologist and founder of the Scripps Ranch Dermatology and Cosmetic Center in San Diego, Dr. Tess Mauricio. Hello. Glad to have you here today. Dr. William Philip Wurschler, an internationally recognized expert in facial injectables, also a professor at the University of Washington. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. And Risha Bellomo, senior physician assistant at cosmetic and cosmetic trainer at Advanced Dermatology Orlando, Florida. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. So glad to have you all here today. You know, home use devices can basically be broken down into, well, several categories, right? We've got hair removal, skin exfoliation, microdermabrasion, acne treatment wrinkle reduction and age spot removal. Well, we're going to start talking about hair removal to, to begin this segment today. Um, we have several devices in front of us here. Um, why don't you take the lead here and help us out a little bit with uh, what they all are and, sure. uh, and what they do. Well, hair removal, laser hair removal, we've all heard about it and we all want it, men and <laughs> women. It is the one of the most popular treatments in my clinic, but now technology has advanced so that people who want hair removal, they can do it at home. And also they can do maintenance where they've seen their doctors maybe for their treatments, and now they want to be able to maintain the results. They can take one of these devices home and then use them. Very interesting. Now, what are these devices? Let's all kind of pitch in here a little bit. Dr. Wurschler, what do you see here? Tell us about some of these products. Well, we have some amazing technology here. Basically, all of these products are home use versions of what's available in, in the medical office. So we have intense pulse light hair removal, we have a portable and we have a home-based unit, we have laser hair removal, we also have a type of, uh, a, a, almost like a modern day electrolysis at the end. And so we have different kinds of products that are useful for um, different applications, different locations on the body, that type of thing. Interesting. And Risha, where, where can you get some of these? Well, you can find them in your dermatology or plastic surgery offices where you would find um, where they would actually utilize hair removal in the office. And what, like Dr. Mauricio was saying, is that they would, if, uh, this is a great application that after you've done mm. three to six treatments in the office, that then you could then, and you could even package it with those laser, in, in office laser procedures to go home with and have them do them at home. So you can get them at your dermatology or plastic surgery offices. Interesting, and you bring up a good point. It, 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 at home devices aren't so much for uh, replacing seeing a, a physician, right? And right. for instance, uh, there are some things we'll talk about a little bit later that, that I use at home now that I, that I still want to go to a doctor for, but I think that um, it's amazing because these are fairly new in the marketplace, aren't they? That you can do this type of thing at home? Absolutely, Absolutely. and the technology has really advanced. Basically, what we're doing at hair removal is that we're applying some type of energy, directing it to the hair follicles, mm -hmm. and and so whether it be laser or light or heat, then that's what we're trying to do to really dis, you know, disarm that follicle from growing. And the only thing about laser hair removal, at home laser hair removal machines is that we have to be careful because it's really not for all skin types. So that's one of the things that really, when you're watching the infomercials about mm -hmm. it, you have to really make sure that you have the right skin type to use and it safely. Right. Sounds like something you'd want to consult your physician about before Absolutely. doing right. it. And that's why they should be dispensed out of physician offices so that we can direct which patient should go home with these and which person should not go home with them. What, one last Although, question. Although, no, no, I saw the infomercial. Right. right? <laughs> it's a really pretty cute infomercial. So oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's interesting. You know, they're, they're meant for at-home use but are they at home prices? Well, it's, it's amazing. If you look at the value for at home laser hair removal units, you know, I mean, the way they're advertised, like, oh, for a single mm -hmm. a, a, in clinic treatment, you can purchase your own and do it at home. So for the right patient, mm -hmm. for the right person, that may make sense. And save money over the long run right. combination. Right. Dr. Warshall, you would started to mention this other device that when we were talking. Uh, 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 what is this last thing on the end here? It, it does the opposite? Well, it does. It does the opposite. This is the HairMax laser comb, and this helps to grow hair. Right. Um, it's particularly popular with men. 
Oh, really? Well, obviously, I think that's a concern for men as they age, is, is that yes. they tend to lose their hair, their, their hairlines recede, correct? Absolutely. And you use this so many minutes a day um, as the directions apply. You use it like a comb. You turn it on, and there's a laser in there, and that laser actually right. stimulates the hair follicles. So and, mainly men, but also women? Women, well, absolutely. Well, absolutely. 50% it's... of my patients are actually women who have hair loss, and sometimes they react much more, more emotional than men to the hair loss. Men almost kind of say, eh, this is going to happen, but women it's are always shocked. It's more oh, it's socially huge. accepted yeah. for men than for women. All right, let's move on now to skin exfoliation and microdermabrasion. Now, there are a lot of products out there we could talk about, so let's start right away. Um, first of all, talk about microdermabrasion. This is something that I recently tried for an at-home uh, use, and it was unbelievable to me because uh, years ago, not that long ago, you could only get this at seeing a physician. Now, I still go in and get it done professionally, but when I tried it at home, I couldn't believe how close to the actual office visit it felt like. Um, what, Dr. Wurschler, explain a little bit about microdermabrasion for people who don't know what the benefits are. And, um. uh, absolutely. I love microdermabrasion. And the microdermabrasion that you do at home is really just a kinder and gentler version of what we do in the office. And this is using some type of a mechanical process to polish the skin. It enhances the brightness of the skin, it smooths the skin, it helps with pigmentation, dark spots, it can help with some forms of acne. So really it's, it's like maintaining your car. It's like taking your car and washing and waxing it and keeping the paint looking its best. Really our skin, the outside of our skin needs maintenance to look its best. So there's microdermabrasion and that is a form of exfoliation, but there's also exfoliation products and they're, those are different. Mm, tell us about some of those products. Well, there are a lot of scrubs out there, you know, the beads, and also there are the different sponges, different brushes. So there's a lot of different things that really what it's trying to do is get rid of that dead layer of skin, which is why microdermabrasion is very attractive to a lot of people because you do feel that instant gratification. You have that nice glow. You can feel your skin feel smoother. And so it's really nice and you almost get like hooked on it in a way <laughs> and and so it's really wonderful because there's so many options out there now and especially at home they're getting better and better and safer too and and Risha are there several different types then of these products that we're talking about now you know microdermabrasion there's not just one unit but you could choose from several or is there only kind of one out there right now or no, there's several units that are out there and there's several products that will give you that exfoliation uh, the one thing I would say though is that you do want to be cautious a lot of these things that you only want to do microdermabrasion dermabrasion one to two times a week, not every single day. And that also, if you're using those kind of kits or machines at home, and also if you have any type of eczematous process on your skin or rosacea or sensitive skin conditions, you also want to be careful and not overuse these products. Well, I do want to say this, and I can only speak to that particular product because it's the one that I tried, but um, I would imagine the other at-home products also come with similar instructions. This was very explicit in exactly what you've just said. Make sure if you have this condition or that, make sure you do talk to your physician. And also this had a DVD that I could watch, which I sort of laughed at at first, and then I went back to it and thought, no, I need to check that out. And it walked me through it the fear away or any kind of apprehension so that was cool That's too right. it's just so fascinating how we can actually make a difference in our skin so easily at home these and not days just on the face you can use it on the neck on the chest on the, the chest hands, and all arms. so exactly. so it's really polishing your you know head to toe there you go well Risha share with us if you will some of the differences between the products that are out there in the market for for at-home treatment of acne sure I mean, acne plagues both teenagers and adults as well. And about 50% of my acne patients are adult females. And it's very important that we're maintaining acne because there's no cure for it. And so when we look here at these devices, these are devices that are really things that they can use at home to continue to maintain their acne at home along with their topical therapies. So the first two here are blue light and these do decrease the bacteria that's in the skin that's associated with acne. Then we have a LED and also heat based and some of these products like the couple here are very low for localized treatment of those pimples that are acne that comes up that you just have that larger acne bump and you want to treat it and spot treat that. Mm -hmm. that, that makes sense. That spot. And, and Dr. Tess would you agree that it's, it's like the other things we 
we've been talking about today that it, probably one of these will work better for some than others? Is that why there are Absolutely. several of them? Well, it depends on the severity of acne. It also depends on whether you know you want to just do spot treatment or you want overall facial treatment. And I really think that these work in combination with the treatments that people are getting from their dermatologist. Mm -hmm. Acne is a medical problem. And so, you know, you really need to see your dermatologist so that you're getting the full extent of options. There are a lot of options. There is no cure. I still have acne. I'm 40. And I, you know, I, I have one of these in case I get a pimple on my chin. Well, and you see that they're different sizes, which makes me think, well, you could use them on different body parts as well. And isn't yes. it true, Dr. Wurschler, that, you know, acne isn't something you would just get on your face. You can get it on your back and, and other areas as well. Sure, chest, Absolutely. back, yeah. shoulders, as well as the face. And really what I think is the, the most important part of, of these products, of this concept of home acne therapy, is it really helps to reinforce to the patients, whether it's the teenager or the adult, mm -hmm. that acne management is a combination of work at home and visiting the dermatologist. All right, we're going to move on now to some uh, devices that you can use at home for wrinkle reduction. Dr. Wurschler, tell us about some of the products here. Well, this is another new and exciting area for home treatment, an extension really of what is done in the office. Hmm. And we have devices here that use a combination of different energy technologies. Uh, some are actually laser, uh, some use light energy, and what they do is they really help to focus on specific areas uh, where, where you have lost your collagen, you're developing wrinkles. These, these help to regrow your own natural collagen. Interesting. And uh, Dr. Tess, did you want to add something? Well, you know, when patients come in, one of the big problems, obviously, wrinkle, loss of that nice texture, loss of tone, and these devices will rebuild collagen. And that's wonderful news, and we can do it at home now. And if you are getting treatments at the doctor's office, this is a wonderful adjunct mm -hmm. and maybe maintenance. So we do recommend these types of products. They're safe, they're painless, mm -hmm. and that's really wonderful to do at home. And Risha, now that you can buy these products and have them at home, I'm assuming that they're fairly accessible, easy to get, and also somewhat affordable. Absolutely. But I think it's still important to note that you need to go to your dermatologist or plastic mm -hmm. surgeon's office to make sure that these are correct for your skin type and conditions. Absolutely. All right, now we're going to discuss age spot removal devices. Dr. Wurschler, uh, I see that we have some creams here, but there's also another item as well. Talk to us about that a little bit. Well, this, this is the Clarisonic brush, and this is the skin equivalent of the Sonicare toothbrush. Huh. It uses sonic energy to super cleanse the skin. And by super cleansing the skin, it makes all of these products work better. So we think of this as the essential first step in, in the treatment of not only age spots, but wrinkles and acne and all those other conditions. Some people get confused and think this is a microdermabrasion, but if I, if I may, I'd sure. like to demonstrate this on you. It's actually very oh, soft very and gentle, soft. Yeah. and it's not a microdermabrasion. <laughs> it could almost tickle. <laughs> it's a little over, yeah. No, it's so, very, very gentle and soft, actually. It's not a hard brush at all. This has been a revolution in skin cleansing. And it's something that we recommend actually for all of our patients. So it would make sense then, I would assume, and ladies help me out here, that, that some of these creams, rather than just topically putting them on, uh, with a little help from a brush like that, it's just going to work it in a little further? Is that right? Absolutely. Right? Well, penetration's everything. Anything topical that we apply, if it's not getting to where we want it to go, it's not as useful. I'm really familiar with the products that we have here as far as age spot um, removal. Um, the Allure and the Luminase work through an enzymatic um, destruction of the me melanin, which is actually the pigment. And we actually did the clinical study and it really is nice because it is safe and it's non-irritating. So it is really good for people to use at home because we're not worried about hydroquinone being irritating on the skin. And Epions is also all natural. And so now there are a lot of options for people out there who, even those that have sensitive skin who want smoothening and clearing and evening of skin tone. Now, Risha, these are things I would assume that you don't see instant results with, obviously. No. It, usually I tell my patients it will take anywhere from 12 to 16 weeks to see improvement. And a lot of times as well, I'm, rec I'm recommending that they're seeing the esthetician for a series of chemical peels it makes in sense. combination. It, although, it, although the Allure and the Luminase, we did the studies and you can see results in as early as seven days because it actually wow. is targeting the pigment. That's, wow. that's what's special about it. That one 
going to make a note of. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Start using it. Well, this has been. Uh, oh, did you have something? Well, to, and I was, I was going to point out, and, and, and maybe they um, would like to comment on that. Skin brightening. We yes. hear that word a lot. I want a skin brightener. Right, right. And, 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 it's about luminosity. And when we think of beautiful, youthful skin, it's about that luminosity and it's the brightness. And there's nothing more aging than that dull, mm -hmm. blotchy skin. And that is what these products really are achieving for the, the people out there. And it's really creating that luminous, youthful glow. All of this has been so educational today, hasn't it? This is stuff in the panel Absolutely. that we're learning today is fantastic. I want to thank everybody who's been with us, Dr. Wurschler, of course, Dr. Tess, and also, of course, Risha, thank you all thank for you all of much. your insight and expertise. If you'd like to learn more about the products discussed on today's program, or if you'd like to purchase them directly, please visit AestheticTV.com. I'm Suzanne Senna. Thank you for watching Aesthetic TV, where we help you look and feel your absolute best and be beautiful from the inside out.